Uh, welcome to Mississippi. No, that's a, that's the wrong sign. Welcome to Mississippi, the land of milk and honey, and the honey bee. I got a swarm, and uh, it's kind of. I'm gonna have to kind of work with it. I'm gonna slip this hive underneath it, and then I'm gonna put the milk crate back under under the hive. Try not to disturb them any more than I can help. Alright, now. Alright, I'm gonna put one frame of cone in the hive that will help them go in there. And I'm gonna take a glove and I'm gonna break the rest of the bees and help them go. Help them go in the hive. Like that. Alright, right, they're going in there pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to put the inner cover on there. Brush them bees off. And we'll slide it on there gently. So I don't mash any of them. Now, now I'm gonna pull it out. Where the bees will go in the in where, where the bees will go in the entrance. And they'll start going in the entrance. I don't know if you can see those bees. Uh, they'll all start going in the entrance. Uh, you see these bees right here spinning their wings? Well, they're, they're telling the other bees, the, the queen's in here, come in here. Okay, we about ha have them all in there, and I'm going to get a real close up. Can you see those bees spinning their wings? Okay, they're 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 telling all the other bees, come on in here. This is where the queen is. So, I hope you hope you can see that. I'm going to smoke the bees up on that equipment, and and that will encourage them to go in the hive. I'm at the bee yard, and, and here is the, the swarm that I just picked up. I have set them beside this queen castle. This queen castle has four, four compartments in it, and, and uh, only one compartment is being used. So uh, I may end up transferring these, this swarm to this queen castle, but I don't know yet. Now. I'm going to uh, take the top off of this hive, and I only put uh, I only put one one frame in there, so I hope it hasn't fallen. Uh, now, a swarm, as a rule, if you haven't mistreated them, a swarm is the most gentle that they'll ever be. At, at the swarm stage, they are more gentle than, as a rule. Now you can get into a mean swarm, but as a rule, they're 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 they're, they're not. So, okay, I've taken the top off, and uh, I'm gonna show you what. I don't know. You're gonna see what it looks like when I see. All right, there. Uh, you see them hanging on the inner cover. Now I'm gonna ease that back on that 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 uh, top. I'm gonna pull the I'm gonna pull the, the screen out. All right, now that that top uh, that that frame did not not, not fall. So I am going to put a frame of, of of honey in there with them. They don't need it, but I'm gonna put it in there, and that way they won't they won't starve at all. And then I'll come back. I'll let them settle down, and I'll come back and. And check to see if it's got a good queen and she's laying good uh, tomorrow or the next day. 
I usually keep a gallon of water at each bee yard in case I need it and usually do need it. Uh, uh, I had people calling me wanting to get bees and, and I asked them why, you know, why they want bees and uh, uh, a lot of times they say that they want bees because they hear they're dying out and they just want to help out and, and that's very noble, it really is. But uh, uh, nowadays, if you have, if you, if you keep honeybees, you need to have a passion for it, and I, I really mean that. You need to, you need to have such a passion for the bees that you will go into them and check them on a regular basis. Uh, 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 when I first started kept it, keeping bees, I, I was obsessed with it, and that's not good. But you do need to have a passion for it. Uh, if you're going to keep bees. If you don't, uh, uh, they will die out and it won't be successful. Now here's a little tip. Now here's the traditional hive tool. You, you see how it's shaped. It's got a scraper in here and this scrape in here. Uh, this is what I use and you know a lot of times it's what you get used to. Now here's another, uh, a different kind of hive tool and uh, I, I, I don't usually use this. Uh, this end right here is where you can pry a frame out of the hive. But anyway, my, my real tip is this. When, when you're taking a, a box off of another one, most people, they wedge it in the corner and pry up. When you do that, you mash, you mash the wood and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to start rotting after a few years. Uh, you're, you're, you're better to have two hive tools. And, and put one on, e on each side like this and, and work it in and then pry that box up using two hive tools instead of one. You won't mash the wood near as much.